Hey VC, how you doing? It's Bill with the Vinylverse. This is uh, part two of my vinyl grabs that I started uh, last night. And this uh, version is going to be all jazz that I've picked over, up over the last um, month plus. So um, I got a good little stack here that I want to show. Starting with uh, Sonny Rollins' The Bridge. And I did a video on this showing my cleaning method um, because this album was pretty beat up um, about a G plus or so and after cleaning uh, improved the sound quality quite a bit and it's probably a VG or so now um, so great album here on RCA Victor this album originally came out in 1961. This is a 1962 reissue. Um, just a really great album uh, that I was able to score uh, really cheap. Uh, so you got the great, uh, well, of course, Sonny Rollins on saxophone, uh, Jim Hall on guitar, uh, Bob Cranshaw on bass, um, Dan Riley and H.T. Saunders on drums. Um, they're, they're each on different tracks. So, uh, really happy to have this. Um, still has a little surface noise here and there, but uh, much improved. A lot of the larger pops and cracks and stuff uh, have uh, dissipated. Um, so, you know, great placeholder until I can get uh, something cleaner. But like I said, this was really cheap um, and really, really happy to have found this one. Next, the great Kai and JJ, uh, brand new swinging together again. Um, I had this album before, but uh, last year, Steve Carlson said that he had never heard of them. I, I showed this in a video at one point. So I VCLT'd this album to him, uh, knowing that at some point I'd be able to pick up a great copy. So I uh, was able to find it again, relatively cheap and in really great condition. This is on Impulse. And this is actually the very first Impulse release. Um, so you can see here, A1, mono. Um, this is the first album that Impulse ever put out. So um, Kai Winding and JJ Johnson, both uh, trombonists. So this is just a great album featuring uh, Bill Evans, Paul Chambers, Tommy Williams, Roy Haynes, and Art Taylor. So Happy to have found this one again. Uh, great price, great condition. Uh, really great album. Enjoy this one. Next, um, this is Milt Jackson Olinga. Um, this is from 1974. It's on the CTI label. Um, so Milt Jackson, the Vibraphonist, jazz vibraphonist. Um, really interesting album here. Uh, not really sure how to classify it. Maybe a soul jazz or, you know, it's got a little electronic to it. Um, it's even a little bit funky. Uh, but if I were to uh, categorize it, I'd probably say soul jazz. But um, pretty good listen here. And... Uh, found this at a local record store uh, for not much money at all, just a few dollars. Uh, so I was happy to add this one to the collection. Milt Jackson Olinga from 1974. And on this one you have uh, Cedar, you see that? Cedar Walton on piano, um, Ron Carter on bass, Mickey Roker on uh, drums, and Jimmy Heath on saxophone. And this is a Rudy Van Gelder engineered album. So uh, cool pickup, happy to have it. 
Oh, and of course, Milk Jackson on Vibrafen. Um, so the next batch of albums here, uh, last week, a uh, local record store calls, called Siren Records um, posted on Instagram about having a 50% off sale on jazz, their jazz inventory um, that was marked from the year prior. So on all the labels, they there's a date stamp on it, and anything from July, whatever it was, 24th, 2018, back, or if it didn't have a date on it, it was going to be 50% off. So, uh, of course, I wanted to get there, and I took an extended lunch that day and uh, drove out there and uh, picked up a few things. Um, of course, all the really good stuff was not within that time uh, frame, so uh, the pickings were kind of slim, but I did manage to pick up a few uh, pretty good things. Um, starting with, uh, okay, this is George Ween and the Newport All-Stars on Impulse. Um, I basically grabbed this because it was, uh, really cheap and, um, I'm trying to collect, um, the Impulse label here, so... Although this says uh, mono A31, this is actually a stereo copy. They kind of put a stereo stamp over top here. Um, <clears throat> so what this is, is this is basically uh, Dixieland. Um, <clears throat> so it's not something I probably would have picked up at normal price, but it was half off and I mean, we're just talking about a couple dollars here. So uh, I grabbed it, really great shape here. Um, and I don't have any Dixieland music in my collection and it's on impulse. So uh, grab that one. So I just showed an album uh, by Kai and JJ and these next two releases um, are related to that. So first is J is for Jazz. This is the JJ Johnson quintet. This is on Columbia, um, 1956. It's a Columbia 6i, really great condition, uh, mono release, and yeah, really, really nice copy of this, again, for really cheap, plus it was half price, so uh, great score here. And so on this, you have people like uh, Tommy Flanagan and Hank Jones on uh, piano, um, Elvin Jones on drums. Who else is on here? Uh, oh, Percy Heath and Wilbur Little, both on bass, um, and Bobby Jasper on uh, saxophone, and of course, J.J. Uh, Johnson on trombone. So really happy to find this one um, in great condition uh, from 1956 and again it's a mono release on Columbia it's a Columbia 6i here okay and the next one um, again Kai and JJ I had never seen this one before um, but I couldn't pass it up and it is K, uh, K and JJ, their album Israel on A and M, and this is from 1968. And you can see here it's a promotional uh, copy and it's mono. Um, so there's the white label promo on A and M. Pretty good score here. There they are. Uh, Kai Winding and J.J. Johnson. Um, <clears throat> here's the gatefold. And you got some good players on here as well. Uh, Ron Carter again on bass. Richard Davis um, again on bass. 
Grady Tate um, on drums. And then you have Herbie Hancock on a couple tracks on uh, piano, electric piano. Um, whole slew of people here. Because um, you got violins and cellos and flutes and oboes. There's the personnel there. So, K and JJ Israel. Um, I was real happy to uh, score this one. Okay, so now this next one I was uh, really, really excited to find. And I never heard about this series before, um, but this is Booker Irving, Irvin, uh, the, uh, back from the gig, and it's the Blue Note reissue series. So I guess in the mid-70s, um, Blue Note uh, had a series of of releases that they did uh, highlighting certain artists and this is the one from Brooker Irvin um, this is what the label looks like you can see around the B it says the Blue Note reissue series um, <clears throat> so yeah this is a uh, pretty good score in my opinion. I haven't had a chance to listen to this yet. Um, there's a nice big picture of Booker Irvin there. A lot of good liner notes. Um, it says two previously unreleased sessions featuring the brilliant tenor saxophonist in sextet and quintet formats. formats. So um, this is a double album and I guess it was a session from uh, disc one is a session from 1963 and then disc two is a session from 1968 um, so uh, yeah very cool it says on the back here on side one and two the Horace Parlin sextet which featured Har Horace Parlin on piano Booker Irvin on tenor sax Johnny Coles on trumpet Grant Green on guitar Butch Warren on bass and Billy Higgins on drums and that was uh, at Rudy Van Gelder's uh, studio, February 15th, 1963. And then on sides three and four, it's uh, Booker Irvin on tenor saxophone, Woody Shaw on trumpet, Kenny Barron on piano, Jan Arnett on bass, and Billy Higgins on drums. And that was recorded at uh, Rudy Van Gelder's studios at, um, on June 24th, 1968. So, um, very cool. Um, I'm anxious to hear how this uh, reissue series sounds. Um, so we'll be definitely playing this uh, very soon. Um, but really happy to have scored this one. So those are the things that I got from that 50% off sale. Um, I did look around for other things and in the dollar bin I was able to find uh, Sinatra at the Sands. Um, of course, this is uh, Frank Sinatra with the Count Basie Orchestra conducted by Quincy Jones. Um, yeah, this is a classic album. Um, this is one of those albums that um, everyone should have in their collection and I was Happy to have scored it for a dollar. It's in actually very decent condition. There's the uh, reprise label. Instead of the steamboat, you got Frank's picture there. Um, this is a mono copy. Uh, here was this. 1966, that's when this came out. So, pretty good score for a dollar. Okay, these next two um, are both by the same artist and really stoked to finally have um, the Golden Flute by Yusef Latif. Um, <clears throat> I've mentioned it before, the um, kind of toy store, antique toy store 
uh, that I visit on occasion that has records. Um, he must have just gotten in a box of records, and this was in there. Um, so this was a good score for really, really cheap. It is a little um, rough, but uh, but it still plays great. Uh, you can see the back. We got lots of writing on here, um, but this is a great album, and I had not up to this point I had not had any Yusuf Latif in my collection, so uh, was really stoked to get uh, this one. And again, <clears throat> it's on impulse, and this is a stereo copy, um, but. Really happy to have that. So sticking with uh, Youssef Latif, I picked up uh, Jazz Around the World. This is a really great album. Um, so the Golden Flute, I forgot to mention, was from 1966, and uh, that was an original. This is a 19 1960 release but this is a 1972 I think um, reissue so it's on the impulse ABC label there this album is in really really excellent condition um, plays superbly uh, really really nice copy here and uh, it's a great album So happy to have added this one as well. Okay, and just in the other day, a um, couple from Carolina Soul, a uh, recent auction that they did. I was happy to score a couple albums from their auctions. Um, the first is a uh, conference of the birds by the Dave Holland Quartet. <clears throat> this is on ECM from 1973. Um, has Dave Holland on bass, Sam Rivers on saxophone. Well, I think it says reeds and flute. Then uh, Anthony Braxton on, again, reeds and flute. And then Barry Altshaw on, it's labeled here, percussion and marimba. Um, so this is a fantastic album. Um, this is a highly free or avant-garde, um, but I really, really like this one. And there's the ECM label. So, um, yeah, I was happy to have gotten this. It says, recorded on November 30th, 1972 at Allegra Studio in New York City. Um, so, past uh, six months or so, I've been uh, really diving into some Anthony Braxton, uh, really, really enjoying his work, even as out there as it can get. Um, so, was happy to score this one and um, no one else was really bidding on it so I was able to uh, snatch this one up. Conference of the Birds, uh, Dave Holland Quartet on ECM. And the last thing, again from Carolina Soul, uh, was Soul Brothers, Milt Jackson and Ray Charles. And um, this is an original 1958 mono release on that nice black Atlantic label there. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah. So happy to have this one. There's another one uh, that Milt and Ray did together um, that I forget the name of right now. Um, soul something, I think. Uh, 
but yeah, very happy to have scored this one. Uh, this is another one. It's got a little, uh, some cover damage there, but nothing, nothing too extreme. It's in really, really nice shape. Uh, so, yeah, so happy to have scored that one. So that's all the jazz pickups I've gotten over the past five weeks or so. Um, a lot of good stuff here, a lot of interesting music, and um, happy to have all these. Um, so I hope you enjoyed seeing this stuff. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks to all the new subscribers that uh, have been um, jumping onto my channel. I very much appreciate it. Um, shoot me a comment down below. Uh, I always love interacting with everyone in the comments section. Um, yeah, so really just appreciate everyone watching and taking the time to do so. Um, so for now, that's going to do it for me. Hope everyone is doing well, and I'll catch you on the next video. Take care now. Bye.